Welcome back guys, this is Del, and we are back to Terra Firmacraft. We've almost healed. Uh, in the meantime, I have been busy putting the fi- fi- uh oh, hello. The charcoal pit back together. I- whoops, I think we better get our... everything back. <laughs> and kill this guy. Hi! Go away before you hurt me some more. I don't need that. I'm almost healed. I think after sleeping we should be good to go. Alright, let's see. We've got... Almost have another charcoal pit done. Woo! Done a lot of work on this silly thing. Do we have a torch? We have a torch available. Um, I need that wood back though. Give me that back. Move the fish. Not up there. Alright. Toss the torch in. Wait for it to catch on fire. And then run the heck away. Come on. There we go. Um, there we go. Love the particles and I love how fast it works now. We're going to get some sleep and after we feed ourselves. Uh, go back to there, fishy. Whoops. Yeah, let's cut the decay off. Eat some fish. Drink some water. And go to sleep. There we go. Alright, hey look, we're finally almost at full hit points. So I got partially up and then I was fighting with some of the Douglas fur trying to get that, um, the pit filled back up, charcoal pit, and I fell off the ladder and yeah, so that kind of set me back. So it's been quite a few days since we ventured down in and found the tetrahedrite. My goal this time is to, I think, dig our way out of there so that we have a quick entrance without having to go through all that insanity. And then we can just go straight down and mine that as we set up some... Hey, which makes me wonder, do I have... I do, I know I have a bunch of them. What to do with them? What to do with them? There they are! Throw those in. We have a bunch of extra junk in our bags here. Like all this stupid... That stuff, that doesn't belong there. Uh, don't really need those for what we're doing. Yeah, that's not too bad. All right, off we go. So I filled that back up. Uh, how long did this actually take me to fix? It is already April, so we could probably try to plant again. Elderberries look like they're growing. All in all, I think it's a nice spring. We have that all planted. All of them are chopped down, sitting in the charcoal pit, becoming something for us to make uh, extra stuff, you know, the extra good stuff. You know, the, the tools. That's it. That's the word I was looking for. Alright. I'm going to find our way down here and I'll be right back. Here we go. The strange place I decided to put our ladder. Alright. Sort out. And we're already short on food. Of course, by now, all of our torches are out. So we'll have to relight things as we go along here. It did not rain, so it's 100% a 100% time issue on this one. Ouch. I think we just discussed the need to have health available down here. So far so good. No zombie apocalypse. There's the start. What are you? Spider. Which means it is not nighttime, so you are not aggressive. Thank you, telephone, for telling me something I don't need to know right now. It's not nighttime. Why are you aggressive? It's day. Go away and do not exist anymore in my world. Thank you. Shoo! Alright, we don't need to go up there. I'm pretty sure we went this way, right? There's another torch. Another torch. I really don't want to head the other way. Yes, this is where we need to be. So what do we have to fight up here to get to our tetrahedrite? Doesn't look like anything. I think we might be good to go. Nothing decided to take up residence up here in our... Oh, that's cheat. Don't look. We do not want to see that. That's bad. Alright, so the goal is to go up. So we have... Let's move the fish and the ladder. Um, why do I hate that factor? That that's, that's just frustrating to me. 
Put that there. That gives us a small support. I'm pretty sure that works partially at least. I hope. I really don't want to die here. Alright, so that's three. So we'll go here. Nope. Holy cow. Huh. I survived. I don't know how I survived, but I survived. I'm going to take it. I'm going to run with that and call it good and just be happy I lived. So it does have to have that cross support. And I don't think I can have that until I have... Wow. Not cool. Alright, get rid of that. Cross our fingers. Alright, that gives us support there. Which I don't know if that even does us any good, to be honest with you. Still haven't completely sorted this all out yet. What a mess I just made. What a huge mess. So much cobble falling in on everything. I hope I didn't mess any of the tetra he dried up. Holy cow, what a mess. Tell me I cannot cause a cave-in by killing by, by breaking apart cobblestone that is at my feet. That has already fallen. Not breaking any supports here, so... I think I'm good to go. Alright. Let's go back to working our way out of here. Not cool. Okay, downright irritating. <laughs> oh well. We'll figure it out. All right, our goal is upward and out of here at whatever angle it nece is necessary to take. I see we still have that beside us. No! I think these are obviously saving me something. I don't know how. This is not fun. And probably not all that entertaining. I'm going to dig us out of here. Oh man, really? I'll be honest, caving in this mod, outright caving, is really frustrating to me. You have to be able to get the sports in. But while you're trying to put the sports in, you can have a caving come in on you. So I guess the only way is to dig down to this? I don't know. I'm going to dig us out of here, hope and pray I do not die, and get right back with you guys. I feel like we're actually making progress. I haven't had a cave-in since, since I left you guys. And mind you, I've gone a whopping three blocks upward, but hey, something, right? Now let's see if you guys are what's... I'm going to blame you guys. Mm -hmm. Totally, the fact that you're watching. Although on the trees, you were the opposite. You were the good luck, so I guess I won't go that way. All right, back to choppy. Okay, I think this means we made it, cause we hit gravel. Woo! Oh, we had two more minor cave-ins, but neither of them put anything in my way dangerous. There we go. I can deal with cobble. So when we hit cobble... Nice, that means that worked at least to that factor. Okay, this is awesome. Guess what? We have ladders. This will be a much better ladder than the last one. Oops, I really don't want to waste ladder. Things are just too hard to come by in this game. And we have our way out. Oh, talk about... Wow, we got lucky on that one. Alright, let's go back down. Whew, okay, that was scary. Tunneling down is one thing, because you can stand up. Oh, yep, I got some clearing to do. As I said, I got I didn't realize it actually landed behind me. Yuck. Yuck and yuck. Cavens are just not cool. Personal Okay. I have a feeling I'm not alone in that personal opinion. Oh hey, that broke. You keep breaking because you don't have a support above you. Oh well. You look good now. More cavens? Not going to worry about them. We'll worry about these. And then we got to figure out a way to actually support this in here without causing more cave-ins while I'm doing it. And I'm not quite sure. I think here, if I got rid of this, I'm pretty sure it can stand on cobble. I don't really want that one there. 
But if we put that there, that there. Whoa, 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 no, no, no. I don't want a full on wall in front of me. Hey, go away. Why can you not just go at the very top? Attach. There we go. Okay, that's better. All right, we have a cave in saver. I think, I hope, I hope, I think. So that should salvage us there. At least for a distance. And I guess when we come down here, we'll have to, let's see, first off, we haven't tried this out yet. Yep, works just fine, and it fixes the bug. So as soon as we take this out, we have no more, s well, okay, as long as we have tetrahedron, I think we have see-through. Yep. All right, as soon as we get to plain rock, we're good to go. So that explains that. Yay, we have a way down to the tetrahedrite. All is good in the world. We'll mine that up. I think a little bit later. Yeah, I guess we can get more of it right now. Oh, wow. So any of the tetrahedrite above is in a ugly position where it's going to show us through the world which we do not want, but we sure as heck want the ore. Oh, there's tons here. Hold on, what does it say if we tap right here? Very large sample. Yay! Excitement. So much tetrahedrite, so much ore to, to do all kinds of tools and things with, and we're not looking at that. Darn it, I gotta quit looking at that. All right. I'm going to get some of this mined out, and I think as soon as it's daytime, or is it daytime? Let's go see. We need to go plant. I think April is good enough. I'm going to go make it daytime. Mmm, fish for breakfast. And water, of course. Oh, what a mess my bags are again. And that's just a mess. Alright, I guess we're dropping, oh no, these were over here. Let's actually do this somewhat organizedly. I used up more of those. Throw the tetrahedrite in there. Same with all the stupid that stuffs. Stupid that stuffs. There's a great way to put it. Throw that in there. Yep, I'll call that good. Throw a gem in there. You can drink some water. And let's go see if we can actually plant. Go, go, planting season. What are we in now? And now it is April 6th. I think the el elderberries are growing. That's what it looks like, at least. So on my way back, spiders assaulted me, but those two. Mean spiders. But we survived. Um, yeah, I don't really want his leather armor. I can make leather armor. Alright, our goal, I believe we were trying to... Oh, let's get rid of you. Come here. Come on. Leave your nice, safe water. Or I'll just kill you while you're in it. That works. Zombies. <sighs> no manners. It's planting season. Has to have all the attention. Alright, we're making this the A one. So we need to start out with wheat. We just need a lot of wheat. Please tell me it is time to plant. <gasps> Woot! It's time to plant. I hope it doesn't come out of the ground at night. We are in such dire need of, of um, grains. Alright. I don't care that it's not even. We're just gonna plant what goes where. Give me my signs. Thank you. You assign wheat. Done. Love the angle. Alright. Wheat and let's see. Oats. Do I have oats? We'll throw some oats in the ground here. I think I picked my fish back up. Oh, ran out of oats. Put you over there. Throw in a sign, see if I can get it at a nice angle. Oats. Done. Perfect. Nice angle. And do I have any barley? I don't think so. Rice is another one, so... Oh, I do have barley. Why did I think I didn't have barley? I think we're going to have to extend the garden. Yep, yep, definitely going to have to extend the garden. All right, we'll work on that in just a minute. Okay, we have the A plants, A crops out. We got tomatoes, barley, wheat, oats. There's mice here. 
All right, so in my hands, I've got, you might as well make room for it right now, right? I've got all of the C crops, which go where A was. No, that, 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 there we go. All right, so what do we have here? Yeah, looks like a good spot for the two potatoes. Um, you know, I'm not gonna worry about labeling those. Yeah, I could. We don't have any sunshines. We will if we can. Um, I wanna get the garlic in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. There's garlic. Uh, let's get the four squash down. I think that's, oh, yellow bell peppers. One, two, three, four. Then we have a whole bunch. Wait, what did I just put down? Oh, yellow bell peppers. Good morning, sunshine. Now we put down some squash. A little more than I intended to have. And now I have a whole bunch of... Carrots are always a big crop for me. They have fed me a lot this year. So we'll do a whole bunch of rows of carrots and then we'll fill up the rest of this with bell peppers. And truthfully, one, two, three, I could put the rest of this down. Right? One, two, three, four. Yep, should be able to. Some more bell peppers down. That, unfortunately, as far as we can go over there. You know? Hmm. Nope, we gotta go further. One, two, three for the rest of these. This is all messed up now. There goes organization. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and then 15. This will get all of our B crops, our C crops in, there we go. So this year we have C where A was. Anything left in the inventory? Nope, all the C's are down and now we have nothing left but the A crops, or not the A crops, the B crops to plant. So we have onions, green, um, green beans. Wait, wait, did I seriously just do that? That's where the bee crops were last year. Oh well, we'll have a lower harvest. And let's throw the jute in here somewhere. All right, we'll start out with our good old rice because we definitely need the grains. One, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten. Throw in one onion here and put the rest in the little row right there. Get some cabbage in for us. Cabbage is always tasty, at least in this game, not in real life. Okay, that's my personal opinion. Throw some green bean sticks in here. I think they actually grew almost twice last year, didn't they? And finish off with a bunch of soybeans, which counts nicely as protein. Wonder why that's not. And we'll just keep right on going down the side here. Until we run out of hoe. And we ran out of hell. Now we gotta go to sleep and get rid of this crazy darkness. All right. Um, wow, yeah, definitely time to go to sleep. We are being closed in on. Terrifying. Go, 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 go. I think we're sitting pretty good on, at, and on vegetables as a whole. We actually made it through the winter without too much problem. They did a lot of rotting at first, but leaving them in the ground as long as possible turned out to be actually a really, oh, we need to plant the jute. Um, turned out to be a good thing. Sleep. Uh, because once it got cold, I didn't have to worry about that anymore. So once it got cold, they didn't rot nearly as fast. I guess we shall eat our potato. Om nom. And some fish. Have a good old morning breakfast that seems like dinner. Beer battered cod, right? We did make beer last year. Let's throw some potato in the flavor here. And I think we're pretty thirsty with absolutely nothing in our water jug. All right. I really wish I didn't have the glitches I have in the game, but you have what you have, right? All right, so we've got those all filled up and ready to go. We've got all that going. I think we need to do some cleaning up of this stuff. So I'll get this done, clean this all up, and I'll be right back. All right, all the food's cleaned up. Uh, let's go make a new hoe. 
Do you guys remember how to make a hoe? We haven't been napping tools lately. So we end up with two lines. And then we just click our way along there. Woo! Thank goodness I haven't needed to do the whole... Oh, I'm sure that's done too. Nice! We're sitting... I'm feeling pretty good. Spring's here. We're getting the garden in nice and early. We gotta get some jute down. I think we'll throw the jute over here. How many pieces do we have? Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Move that. Remember the jute. Aww, we can't plant that yet. All right, no big deal. Sugarcane we did manage to plant last year does not grow fast enough, so that is not an option for us, sadly. We'll throw that in there. We'll throw that in there. You won't go in there. Never mind. All right, so we've got our crops planted. We know where the tetrahedrite is, and we have a way down into there nicely. Instead of having to go the crazy route through the insane caves of insaneness. Um, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about this. I have a new water thing built. We have a new charcoal pit going. We need to get back to, oh, and we know how to pickle our food now. Um, we can't do anything yet again about familiarizing animals until we get more grains. That could take a trip, but it could also take, um... Oh, you guys got the idea. My brain decided it doesn't want to work right now. A uh, trip to find more wild grain. So it's not just all depending on what we have. In that case, we have plenty of leather. Let's make a, since we're going to go back to the, the um, melting of ore and we have our crucible over there, let's look up the recipe for our bellows. So bellows would make life easier. Oh, that's simple. Three leather and a bunch of lumber. And I need extra lumber anyway. What do we have for lumber? Nothing. Nothing at all. Take those. Is our saw in our inventory? It is. Because we need to have our crafting table back anyway. Get that out of there. One, two, three, four. Clean that up. Woo! Workbench back. Alright. Three. Three. And three. There we go. Ah, it's so much more convenient when you have yourself... That trip where we ended up killing quite a few things and getting a lot of leather actually benefited us quite, um, quite well at this point. Hello. Only lone building that has been loaned because I've had to play catch up so long. Alright, so we want this to face open air. Ooh, ooh, that could be bad. We may have to extend this wall one, which would make it look all off and funky. Um, I guess we could probably just put it... Nope, it has to face it. Give it back. How do we get that back? I bet a copper axe. All right, let's try that again. So I'm pretty sure... It's not gonna let me put it there. I don't think it'll function without... Why do you not want to go... Alright, I'm gonna have to do my research again. What if I just put it... Now I'm befuddled. I think it's 100% the fact that I don't have it open air. Moment. Okay, I got it. We picked up our crucible. Which is right there. Face that way. And that blows air on that. Now we put our crucible back. On top of there. And there, now we actually have a bellows to make that go hotter. Nice! We're getting there! We're gonna, we're gonna succeed at this. Um, yeah, I'm gonna see where we're at. Be right back. Well, it's spring, but, but, but we still have ice occasionally. That's okay though, that just, um, means we're heading out of the end of the winter. Let's run over here quickly, since everything seems to be cold, make sure nothing popped out of the ground. I think we're good to go? Yeah, everything looks pretty hardy over there. So I got a bunch of cobblestone out, we don't have a whole lot of time left today to spend together. But the next thing in line outside of going on long trips and finding old wheat and things like that is actually a place 
for our animals. That's actually pretty deep. Uh, finding a place or making a barn for our animals. And I'm thinking we... I think I'm going to take this part down here so it's all level. And the question is, do I want to set it back with this thing or have the blacksmith be back set on its own and actually put it up here? I'm thinking we want to put it through here. So let's find our shovel. I always throw everything on the ground. And we'll kind of carve out what we're looking at here. I'm going to have it come straight across from here. And I guess the thing we need to debate, and I haven't decided yet, is do we, I'm thinking we want a cow, like a, a mount type of barn, and a barn that's specifically for your pigs, cows, and uh, sheep. So, let's start out with the pigs, cows, and sheep barn, and we'll leave these guys hanging out outdoors. Um, now this, this pen works pretty good, but this would be about the size, I would think, maybe for just one type of animal at the most. And this is already one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, five, six. We can do that. Ah, we got a couple seconds left, right? Okay. So let's just dig a foundation right off the bat. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We definitely want to go wider than that. 9, 10, I was thinking 11. Nice wide barn. That would leave us enough room for 1, 2, 3, 4 on one side. Have space down the middle for 2. 1, 2, 3, 4. Actually, I have space for 3 down the middle. That's perfect with 4 wide. Yep, yep, I like it. This is good. Now, if it's 11 that way, I'm thinking at least 15 the other. So 1, 2, that work out? One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. Ah, we gotta go two more. Well, we're gonna get rid of that anyway. So 13. Uh, where did that dirt go? We're gonna get attacked, aren't we? Blurgle. Alright, so 13, which means it's 11 in the middle, and we're gonna go sleep. I'll pull you guys back in when it's not dark. Okay, so we figured out these are six that way, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. So seven. If we want each of these to be seven, that means we need to have it at least seven and another four, but I want space to walk in between. So on actual space, not in counting this row here, we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we need at least this two space. And then one, two, three, four, five. Hi. Does that end up even? I hope not, because I want this uneven. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 14, 15. That's perfect. Oh, hi. Somewhere in here. That's going to take way too long with that. So let's run away, go find our actual blunt weapon. Come on, buddy, give chase. Where's it at? There. Mace. Yeah, right. Goodbye. Nope. Goodbye. That's better. Alright. Shovel again. So, we're going to have to put some type of foundation here above this, and then I think I'm actually going to have a watering hole underneath this. So, I don't want to get rid of this. Water's just too hard to come by. So, we'll leave that there. We'll dig our foundation back. At least we'll have a start on what we're going to go into next time when we build the livestock barn. Remember, this is just a livestock barn. We're going to have a separate barn for our ever-friendly and fun uh, mounts. Brain going in too many directions? There we go. That's awfully square. It might not look right. I'll debate this and I'll let you know in the next episode. Thank you for joining me. Um, I hope you guys have an absolutely wonderful week and I hope you're enjoying the other series. Let me know what you're liking, what you're not. Leave like, subscribe. Have a great week. Bye!